Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm the Ukulele Fool, and this is a tutorial on The Cat Came Back. I learned it as a kid's song. It's a wonderful song about miraculous resilience. This lesson focuses on E7, and it is the second lesson that we are doing on E7, the first one. I'll link up here. It was Achy Breaky Heart, and this is all part of the New to Uke series, a series to bring the absolute beginner, somebody that doesn't have musical background, but has always wanted to play the ukulele, to bring them incrementally, sequentially, step by step, until you're a fluent player that can play with others in, in a jam and be ready to move on to do some more advanced work. Let me give you a little bit of a flavor of this song in case you've never heard it. This is the chorus. It's a fun little song and I will link a full performance up here. This song uses an F to E7 change. Um, a you break your heart had an A, a very similar looking chord shape to the F, uh, but we're going to go be going from F to E7 and it also has a G and an A minor in the song. We're going to be using the cowboy strum for this, so it's down, down, but we're going to swing a little, give it kind of jazzy flavor, so down, 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 like that. So if you haven't learned the cowboy strum, I'll put another link up there so that you can get to the cowboy strum, and if you're liking this video so far, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps me build my channel. I'm a small little niche market channel. And so if you subscribe, it'll really help me and hit that notification bell as well. I thank you so much for doing that. I also have a Patreon page and that's where you can get the whole guide to the new to you series. I've got a link down below for that. And it's New to Yoke is $3 a month and you can cancel at any time. And if you just want my chord charts, a dollar a month, or if you think I'm doing good work, dollar month for a tip jar. So thanks so much. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons. We just made a big goal. So wow, it's exciting. I can't wait to donate that ukulele to the Audubon Music Therapy Program. To do the E7 in the song, we're coming from an F chord. So let's practice that transition. You've got your F. And what I do is I bring my pointer finger over to the G string first, and then plop my middle and ring finger down on the second fret on the C and the G string. So it goes with the F, then you move it over and plop then. So it's one shift, two shift, like that. Slow it down. That's how I do it. Let's practice that. Get some fluency, switching back and forth. Four Fs. Four E sevens all down strum, then two beats pause, just regroup, and we'll do it again. So one, two, play it with me. One, two, three, four. E seven, two, three, four, rest. And F, two, three, four. E seven, two, three, four, rest. And F. Hey, I've got timestamps down below. If you need more practice on that and you want to do it with me, I've got timestamp down below for that. And then maybe you just need to pause and, you know, chill and just keep going back and forth between F and E7 on your own. When you're ready, let's move on and add the A minor. After you play the E7 and the cat came back, you have to go to an A minor. And so you're doing E7, and then you just pick up your pointer and your ring finger and move 
your middle finger over to the G string to make that A for A minor. It's that transition just like we did from F to E7. So here's your E7 four times, A minor four times, two beats to regroup. One, two, and here we go. E7, two, practice that, you know, be my guest. Now let's practice going from the F into the E7 and then to the A minor. So putting all three of those chords together. So uh, we'll do four of each and then again a two beat rest before we repeat the pattern. One, two, and here we go. F, two, so far please leave me a comment down below and let me know how things are going if you find these skills and drills useful do you have to use speed modifications on YouTube in order to keep up let me know those kinds of things I really appreciate your feedback let's put it all together the entire chord progression is a minor G F E7 and it repeats so we're just adding uh, an A minor to G combination in the mix. So let's do it with four down strums. So one, two, and here we go. A minor. stamps to help you if you need to just practice that we're going to move on and we're going to go to two beats on each of those go to two beats uh, you probably heard my dog I don't have a cat although I've been a cat owner before they're delivering my new recycling bin so here we go starting on a minor two beats on each one one two and here we go strum in. The cowboy strum is a great strum to use with this song and I like to do it swinging the cowboy strum. So what do I mean by that? Well the cowboy strum is the down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Well in this discussion ignore that first down. That's not the part that's swung. Let's talk about the down up part of it. The 
to swing it, you're going to make that down longer. It's so, think of it as like galloping, like bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba long, short long, short long, short long. If you were putting one foot out in front of the other, like you did when you were a kid, and you're gal, look gal, look gal. That's kind of like what the swinging it is. Let's do that. Let's do that on A minor together. One, two, and here we go. All together on an A minor, a swung cowboy strum sounds like this. If you need more help with that, I would suggest just listening more. There's a play along coming, so listen to it, kind of get it in your bones, and that will really be listening to it, kind of maybe even just muting it, doing that as you're playing along, not worrying about the chord changes or singing. That'll help you get it in your bones. Moving on. Okay, here's where the rubber meets the road. We're going to do the whole chord progression. We're going to do it with the cowboy strum. Oh, and you only get one cowboy strum per chord. Yeah! Okay. I'll, I'll do this for at least a minute with you. One, two, here we go. Use the time stamps to help you. Then uh, we're going to go on and head to the next step. Let me break down how we do the end of each verse and the end of each cho chorus in my arrangement. It's on an E7, and you're going to uh, do two E7s on the cowboy strum and then three down strums. One, two, three. Let me give you an example without any lyrics. You're going to go A minor, G, F, E7, E7 again, and one, two, three, but the cat came back the very next day. Like that. So it just gives it a little spice, breaks up that strumming, makes it a little bit more musically interesting. We do the same thing at the end of the chorus. So, um, but the cat came back just wouldn't stay away. G, F, meow. Do it again. And one, two, three. He gave it to a man going up and up a loop. Like that. Okay. Let's do a play along. Let's do the whole thing. Chord charts are available at patreon.com. Sure appreciate anybody that's supporting me at the dollar level or more. And I have online rewards for folks. And the new to you guide is $3 a month. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do the play along. Two times through the chord progression for an intro. And I have a little breakaway for Hit the Road Cat in my uh, arrangement. I got that idea from my uke in Canada. One. Two. Oh, one, two, and here we go. And old Farmer Johnson had troubles all his own. He had a little cat that wouldn't leave his home. He tried and he tried to give the cat away. He gave 
to a man going far, far away. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. and I hope you have fun entertaining your friends and families and taking this to a youth jam and showing them how much fun you can have with just four chords. All right, until next time, spread the ukulele love. I'll see you in the next video.